guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very aware that I currently look like 16 year old me. I think it's the hair and lipstick combo. But we're just gonna vibe with it. I've been filming some other bits of content. I also thought, you know, we're going for the autumn vibe. So hello, welcome to a new video. Today we're back with a food challenge and it has been a hot minute. It's been a little while, I haven't done a food video in a couple of months. But I asked you guys on Insta and so many of you said food content. So we're back with an autumn themed one, kind of. Gonna keep the intro short and sweet, but basically if you haven't gathered by the title, today I am here with a trying Sainsbury's new in autumn food or something like that. My mum and I were heading to Sainsbury's and I thought, you know what, I have seen so many new launches to like, you know, themed things for Halloween, autumn recipes, autumn bits and bobs just in the shops, not specific to Halloween, but specific just to the season. And I thought this would be a fun food challenge to try eating only new in food for 24 hours. I've done a video sort of similar when I did limited edition food before and I will link Hannah Marling's channel down below because she does some incredible videos just like this one. And yeah, I love filming this the last time I did it. I thought we'd do it again for autumn and they had some pretty good stuff in Sainsbury's. Just saying, I never usually shop there, but I was impressed. So without further ado, we're gonna flash back to this morning when me and my mum set off in the car and headed to our local-ish Sainsbury's. Let's go. We are in Sainsbury's car park currently. It's been a very, very long time since I came to Sainsbury's. I think the last time I was here, I was getting a call in the caterpillar so but essentially we are gonna pop in you guys know what we're doing i'm quite excited as i say i never come to saintsbury so i don't know what they have we're gonna get going okay so the first things that say new are literally all of these and this is tortellini and kind of like ravioli i guess so that's good what should we go for this one does say autumn edition and i love black truffle so we need to pick a sauce if this is what i'm gonna have for tea hope you don't have tea plans mom <laughs> is this new no this one is though creamy basil and pesto that doesn't really go okay so we have also got some other new bits and bobs truffle seems to be really in this autumn where are you looking Oh yeah. <laughs> <Oops>. Wow. <laughs> just Good that job. Up. There's nobody else here, innit? Also, yeah, guys. We are the only people, pretty much, in Sainsbury. Basically, we're looking for the blue stickers. Oh, these are all new as well. Look, new, new, new. These look really good. These ready meals. Autumn theming on the packaging. So new in is tabula and falafel. I don't love falafel, but I am willing to put it to one side to try this new in lunchtime thing, which I think might maybe be. Oh no, it's not all Leon, is it? Oh, it's all different brands. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay, guys, we've also stumbled upon their Halloween section, which is better than anywhere else we've found, even though a lot of it is empty. But look at this. Oh, that reads a bit scary. No, I don't need this, but yes, I am going to get it. Don't know what this is, guys, but quite intrigued by it. I almost sort of want to try it. I don't think it's new. I think it's just in their American section because they do have quite a lot of American food. Fish and chips, liver crisp. That sounds like it should be illegal. Thai green curry, madras curry. Oh, there's three flavors to pick from. Limited edition. Should we just get them all? <laughs> I mean, this strange Kit Kat thing says new. I think it's these, so we're just going to get them. I have wanted to try these new Weetabix since I saw them advertised on the telly. Caramel latte or caramelized biscuit. Shall we get them both? Should we have a little a little nibble of both and be Mary Berry for the day? Two autumn cakes. I think we do it. Caramel latte or caramelized biscuit. <laughs> Guys, we have bought so much stuff. It's all orange. Yeah, of course it's all orange. Even the bags match the Halloween theme. So I am back home from Sainsbury's. Here are the bags on the table, which means that it is time for lunch, finally. I'm absolutely starving. We spent way longer in Sainsbury's than I imagined we were going to. I'm gonna make my lunch, obviously. I got it from the new in section of Sainsbury's. Basically everything we got is a 50-50 split between just new or limited edition and specifically from the autumn collection. I can't remember what the lunch is from, so let's have a look. Okay guys, so here is a collection of the new in bits and bobs that we picked up. As you can see, there's a real variety of like snack actual meals desserts cereal then like sauces cakes and then the thing that i'm gonna have for lunch which is here i'm gonna try to make my way through as much of this as i can in the next day obviously just taste testing it i'm not gonna eat like a whole packet of mr kipling's or a whole five pack of walkers but you get the general gist so we are gonna start with this new in falafel and tub 
Tabula, I think that's how you pronounce it, which I vlogged us picking up. I'm gonna try some crisps with this, and then I'm also gonna have potentially the Sainsbury's pumpkin small muffin, which obviously has been brought out for Halloween. I also did pick up this mug, which I'm gonna have a hot drink in later, but for now I'm gonna actually tip this out into this bowl so that it's a little bit easier to eat and like mix up. I am gonna try the new Thai green curry flavored crisps. This is a really good deal as well. You get five pound off local restaurants with this pack, so that's really good. I think these are limited edition, but as you can see, these are the three different flavors. I'm gonna try one of these. Smells. It does, doesn't it? I'm in the testing hot seat. This is where I tend to sit to test food. I don't know why, it just works. I've got my crisps and my strangely rice looking, potentially quinoa looking salad. And I feel that absolutely everything I'm about to eat is gonna stink because this really smells, like it's very oniony. And obviously falafel smells anyway. So gonna taste test. It didn't say to heat it up. I kind of want to, but then I also feel like there's a, that thing about not reheating rice, which my mum tells me is a myth, but I believe to be true. So we're gonna try it. Hmm. It's very strong. Yeah, it's very on your knee. Do you want to try a bit? I'm just going to try... Oh, you sat on your knees. You look tall for one. <laughs> a bit of falafel and I think it's rice predominantly. I don't know if you're going to like that. Mm. You do? Yeah, I really like that. Really? Mm. Should we try these? Yeah? That's really nice. Suddenly the dog's ears have pricked right up. Yeah, it's flavorful, isn't it? But mm. I think it's a bit too oniony. I don't know if it's just me. I just don't love onions, but it is, it is flavorful. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> All these are weird. They taste exactly like a Thai green curry. They're a bit spicy. Can't have these. Aren't they odd? Mm, not a fan of those. No. Can't have those. You can't have these. These are way too spicy for dogs. It is nice. I definitely do think, you know, autumn is coming through. It's got, it's got spices. It's quite like, I was going to say it's quite a warm, hearty lunch, but it's not. It's actually cold, but it is quite a hearty lunch. And I can see why they brought it out in their lunch section in this time of year. But I also would eat this in the summer, so... I would eat that just as my tea. I know you would. Yeah, this is like mum's ideal tea. It's a good, easy, quick option. That's 10 out of 10. You make that. Really? Yeah, definitely. So now I'm going to move on to the best bit, the sweet stuff. Where is this lipstick going, you might ask? I've just eaten it. So the first thing I'm going to try is the new Kit Kat salted caramel popcorn flavoured. Now, I actually do kind of think salted caramel is quite an autumnal flavouring. I feel like that's something that Starbucks would bring out at this time of year. I'm going to crack one of these. I'll try that. And then I'm going to try their pumpkin small muffin. Is this a sugar overload? Potentially. I can't stop looking at how crazy my hair is. I'm gonna start with these. Now these don't say new on them, but it did say new, it did say new on the shelf. So this is Kit Kat Chunky Salted Caramel and Popcorn. I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. Again, I'm gonna share it with my mum. I'm gonna half this, half the muffin. Otherwise I won't have room for it all. <laughs> I'm loving today. Right. I'm surprised, oh no. They're yeah. split in half perfectly. Oh. So we can just go like, this is what the inside of the Kit Kat looks like. I don't really take too much notice what the inside of a normal Kit Kat looks like. Hmm. This might be popping candy. Is this popping candy? I feel like if they put popping candy and stuff, they should tell you. No, no, it doesn't say that it has popping candy in it. Okay, it just tastes a bit like that. It's nice. It's strong, actually. The flavor of it is definitely different to a normal Kit Kat. Mm, I like it. I'd eat it again, but I don't think I prefer it over a normal Kit Kat flavor. We move on to potentially the thing I'm the most excited about. What I didn't actually know, guys, was that Patisserie Valerie stock the patisserie in Sainsbury's. Not everything is Patisserie Valerie, this isn't. I was surprised to see that because I used to work at Patisserie Valerie when I was like 16. And I also just thought they didn't really exist anymore. I think there are some stores that are still open as well, actually. It's just around here, there aren't really any. Ooh, cute. Here she is, pumpkin small cupcake. What's that? Pumpkin small. I'm actually not too sure if I know what pumpkin tastes like. No, I don't either. It has a flavor. It might be pumpkin. I'm so sorry about the background noise of the <laughs> chop, 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 chop. Every single time I film, my mum just starts making background noise every time. I'll bring the Uber in a minute. Yeah. Ooh. I know why it's called small. Is it gooey in the middle? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so you guys can kind of get a vibe for what this looks like inside. It's got like icing, I think that probably is. I don't really know. Taste test of the, the muffin. I feel like I should really have a plate. Oh, well, life's too short. Sometimes you just got a taste test sitting on your floor. Ah, I don't know what flavor that is. Kind of tastes just the same as chocolate. Is it a chocolate and biscuit muffin with a pumpkin on the top with icing, just plain icing in the middle like a small? And it's actually not pumpkin flavored. I have no idea. Mm. Overall, really liked that muffin. I don't think it was particularly pumpkin flavored, but it was very nice and it is currently obviously for sale in the run up to Halloween. Um, I liked the Kit Kat as well. I wouldn't pick it over a normal Kit Kat, but it wasn't offensive. The Thai green curry crisps, probably a no from me. But yeah, I shall get back to you when it is snack time. Obviously you've seen how much food we've bought, so I'm gonna have to have a little snack before dinner, which is fine by me. 
So these need to go in the oven for half an hour. We did forget about that, but essentially they are Sainsbury's Autumn Edition root vegetables that you kind of cook, you know, kind of how you can get roasted veg in these little packets. It's the autumn version of that, so I'm guessing it's like carrot, parsnip, it actually sounds really nice. Rosemary and extra mature cheddar crumb. And I'm having this to go with my pasta. Dun, 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 dun. So I am in the kitchen again, this time to pop in the main bit of the meal. So it is this, which I filmed earlier when we were picking it up. Black truffle and grana padano tortellini. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Essentially, it looks like this. And from reading the back, I'm like 90% sure that it is mushroom and cheese tortellini. I also have their new in creamy basil and pesto sauce to pop over the top of it. Obviously, I'm not just gonna have it dry, but as you can see, this is new. And this is new and from their autumn collection. I was pretty excited about finding this. Right guys, let's see what this is about. I am slightly nervous that it's actually gonna be gross and then I'm not gonna have anything to eat for tea. Wow. That's a big meal. I think I may have dished up a little bit too much for one person's portion, but we've got the autumn veg and then we have the cannelloni. Is that what it's called? Tortellini, cannelloni? Tortellini. It is dessert time. We got two desserts. Everybody's laughing at me. This is the first one. We've got a caramel latte autumn edition cake, which actually looks really good. And then we also have very similar, a lot of caramel going on. This one is caramel biscuit latte. We're gonna have a couple of slices of each um, and kind of like share them, obviously, because I'm not gonna have two slices of cake on top of all that pasta. Oh, which by the way, was really nice. I did really like it. I don't know if I'd rush to have it again, just because I think because it's pesto, I don't love pesto. It tasted quite like earthy, and I think that's the truffle as well, which wasn't bad. It was really nice. It just wasn't my favorite pasta I've ever eaten. Sorry about the background noise. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna have the autumn cakes now. So we have cut this cake. This is the caramel biscuit cake which i actually think sounds like the nicer one of the two but i will give you my verdict taste test of the caramelized biscuit or was it caramel biscuit mm, i like it it tastes kind of generic mm. i don't think it's like a specific new flavor i reckon they've maybe just rebranded the box but tastes like coffee cake mm, yeah are you just associating caramel with coffee because we always have caramel in coffee magic yeah i feel like that starbucks or something never Oh. Up next in the taste test corner, we have the caramel latte cake. We are just being a bit greedy tonight and having having two different cakes. What do you reckon? It's exactly the same as the last one. Oh. Yeah, this really? Mm, it's coffee, this, one. Th this one's nicer. Yeah. Because yeah. it's got a buttery biscuit base. <laughs> it's got cream in the middle. It looks a bit sticky, this one. Oh, very moist. Mm. Mm. No, this doesn't taste the same as the last one. <laughs> it is more like a coffee cake. Overall verdict guys, the second cake was a lot nicer than the first. Um, I think it was maybe just more moist, hate that word, but yeah. So far, generally successful. Not like my favourite meals ever, but I actually really didn't expect them to be. To be honest, I didn't expect them to be as nice as they have been. The pasta was very filling, like I am so full up now to the point where I'm actually like uncomfortably full and I don't know if I'm even going to be able to have the snacks that I've bought later, so this might have to roll on into more of tomorrow. Obviously I was going to film breakfast breakfast in the morning but like there's so much food left to try and I just can't eat that much more tonight I don't think so yeah pasta 10 out of 10 for filling this if you're wanting like a good hearty warm winter meal that's where we're at I will catch up with you before I go to bed see if I decide to eat anything else morning i in fact did not catch up with you last night when i went to bed but it is now the next morning and it is breakfast time so i'm going to show you the collection of breakfast cereals that i got from sainsbury's i actually picked up two one of them is just new i don't know if it's limited edition or just new in the other is specifically halloween autumn themed so these are the two that i'm talking about i've seen this advertised loads i've been so excited to try it weetabix are probably my favorite cereal obviously these look pretty good as well these are like bats kind of look a bit like a cookie crisp but in a bat shape so these are pretty exciting and what I'm gonna do is just make a hybrid mix of the two and put them in one bowl so that I can try them both for you because I'm obviously not gonna have like two bowls of cereal um, but I'm gonna mix them together so here's what the Weetabix look like um, I feel like they're the kind of thing you could probably eat without milk like these look like little tiny snacks in my opinion 
fixed my hair looks even more crazy today how has that happened anyway turns out these bats uh mm, i think bats might be a stretch they just look like tiny little chocolate things it doesn't really look like a bat also they're way way smaller than i thought they were gonna be so here's my breakfast it looks interesting yeah see what i mean like bat is a real stretch their marketing people have something to answer for because they don't look like that that's a lie that is a lie that is false advertising but i'm sure they're really nice i mean how, how offensive can that be okay it's a little bit later on cereal review um the wheat bits were way way nicer definitely gonna be having those again didn't dislike the bats but i just probably wouldn't pick them they kind of reminded me of like cocoa pops they turned the milk chocolatey so you know it wasn't all bad but it is nearly lunch time or pretty much lunch time actually so i'm gonna have a snack that's not really lunch but i was very very excited to have found because i used to love these when i was younger the chocolate versions of these were like my go-to breakfast so when i found these new caramel filled ones i was pretty excited i'm not the biggest caramel lover but i think that i just love the concept of these they are not particularly healthy not a good breakfast but i was obsessed with them so i'm gonna have one of these i also might try one of these for you guys oh my god i've literally just eaten sugar and chocolate today this is a joke but oh well taste test mm. tastes like you right very caramelly very caramelly not bad though it is autumnal it's definitely like a festive flavor Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. I just popped into town, got soaked. Like, look at my hair. It just torrentially downpoured on me. Anyway, to make myself feel better, I'm having a Mr. Kipling New In chocolate tart because these look great and chocolate tarts are some of my favourite cakes. I don't know. It's not a cake, is it? It's a tart. Some of my favourite tarts. So I'm going to try this. Literally all I've had today is sugar and then we're going to end the video because it is Tuesday and I really need to upload it. Oh my god. That is my favourite thing I've eaten in this whole challenge. Top tier. I am still sat in the same position with my soggy hair from getting rained on in town. But I'm going to end this video here. It pretty much has been, well actually it's been over 24 hours now of only eating the new in autumnal food in Sainsbury's. I hope you have enjoyed this food challenge. I really haven't done one like this for a while. So yeah, I hope you liked it. If you did, do give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I should be back on my channel on Thursday with a video of my family in it. I roped my mum and dad into kind of another food themed video, kind of truth or dare assumption style video basically it'll be up on my channel on thursday thank you so much for watching do subscribe down below if you are new around here i really really appreciate it and i shall see you very soon bye